And we got Blue Nemesis, AMG, Chevelle, Corvette, whatever it is. Blue Nemesis here. I'm working on a, a new project. Um, this is the new project of right now. I know I promise I'll be back on this bad boy. I actually went through it again. This is where I remove the mirror. I'm going to polish this out. Uh, finish the wheels. Stop it from being a shelf. You know, the whole nine. But we're going to get to that. Uh, I get sidetracked. But I'm going to get back to the Chevy. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I'm just sidetracked right now. Some other stuff. This is the Booster project that we're working on. Gen 1. Um, 04. Um, I got it. Putting some nitrous on it. We already did an upgrade to the fuel system. Um, had an issue. I figured that issue out. Um, upgrading the fuel system. The you see over there I got the mufflers putting a custom exhaust we're putting some nitrous oxide let's see what we got you take a look I added the actual fuel filter inline fuel filter and then I pulled the pump modded it to make it flow a whole lot better like 200% and then we're gonna add the nitrous we got the air box in there we're going to add nitrous for each individual cylinder and we're going to extend our swing arm put our nitrous set up in there put a couple solenoids we might actually do a wet system because everybody does a dry system but we're going to do a wet system and we're going to get as much power as we possibly can out of it hence another reason why we needed to mod the, the fuel system but right now we're going over some paint prep this is going to be called a quick custom paint job on a high booster. And you guys are going to be able to see what I did, how I did it. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of what I've done already. So I have took all the fairings off that I can take off. I got them up there. They're already sand and prep. Um, I have some of them inside the beast. Um... Sand and prep, ready to go. Everything else I'm working on the bike because I don't feel like taking this thing off. To be honest, I could take I could take everything off in the tank and everything, but I'm not gonna do that. I can easily paint these three items on the bike, and those bigger those items I can paint off the bike. It's not a big deal. So basically, right here is already a painted surface. Um, I might put some before pictures on here. So you guys can see what it looked like but it was like a purple and black but so basically we sand everything down with 220 then we came back and we sand over top of the 220 with 320 so same thing right here these are factory stickers that were painted over right they paint and clear coat them into the thing so i had to remove them and we already sanded this tank down with 220 and then we sanded it down with 320 over top of that and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna end up using a little bit of filler right on these stickers because I got a couple little spots because it didn't want to come off easy so I had to scrape it with the blade same thing right here you can see these have to been spots in the tank these little dots so maybe he had keys or something or whatever but you could they're low spots that's why when I sanded it, it didn't take. So these are going to actually get sanded. All these little spots will get sanded again. And then we'll put a little bit of filler and we'll fill them all in. Right now I'm working on here. All right, I removed all the stickers. Still got some glue left. I got to get off with some solvent. And then I'm going to sand all these areas. Sand everything up in here. Same here. We're going to do it all. 220 first because it's already a smooth surface so we're going to sand it all really good with 220 then we're going to come back and hit it with the 320 then it's pretty much ready for paint or not paint but primer <clears throat> then we'll prime the whole thing on our frame you see where I painted it black right here 
we're gonna sand the whole frame down well not the whole frame I'm gonna tell you exactly how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna sand back from here all this all that in the swing arm sand it all down and then we're gonna paint it all black shiny as black as possible Put some extra clears on it. We're gonna have that bad boy blinging. And then we're gonna paint the bike. And yeah, the bike is gonna go blue. That's what I do. So, and then we're gonna actually put some graphics and some decals, and we might put some actual airbrushing. We'll see how far I wanna get with it, how far I wanna go into the actual custom paint job. I don't want it to be like too much, but I don't want it to be too simple as well. So we're gonna hit somewhere in the middle of the perfect combination of custom without going overboard but not making it a standard looking bike so i'll take you guys through it